The selection is based on performance of the individual athletes across the four listed disciplines that I have rendered to you this particular afternoon. Beyond that, we tax the coaches also to come up with their individual selection because the coaches who take them up, and don't forget as a sports person, it is not only the sport skill that you demonstrate on the field of play or competition that will determine whether you should be rewarded or not. It comes with also your personal discipline and then some other responsibilities. Beyond that, the students were also given the opportunity, student leaders of the various disciplines were also given the opportunity to also submit their list of persons that they feel should be awarded uh, for their individual or collective contributions. So at the end, the sports team, first from the subcommittee, sat down to sieve out out of the many lists that you presented, delivered the draft or proposed names to the sports committee who came up with the various nominations. So this is how the nominations were done for the various categories of the 11 sporting disciplines that will be awarded come on the 5th of August, Saturday, 2023. Right, so I guess when the questions time are up, you might have the opportunity to get some interventions or questions that you want. So that is about how the... the... I would like to say that this has been the mission of the Vice Chancellor who promised to have this done. And lo and behold, we are here witnessing this beautiful day. I'm doing this on behalf of the entire sports and recreational committee. Each and everyone has done a human's job to bring this occasion to this point. Without wasting much time, I stand here on behalf of the TTU Sports Committee and the entire Tamaritaka University community to declare TTU Sports Awards Night dubbed Recognizing Excellence in Sports at the Tamaritaka University and Beyond, duly launched. Thank you. The award. Now, female category also, we have Rebecca Mba. She started playing volleyball when she entered into the university and she has done it and she is continuing to do it. Rebecca Mba happens to be around. Please, can you be on your seat for people to see you? Thank you, that's Rebecca Mba. She has been nominated. Then Mary Ahin. Mary, are you around? Then Charity B. Odum. Member selected for the volleyball female category. Now, when you come to the Handball Player of the Year Award, we have Samson Anaful, Wisdom Kwaku, and Gideon Adi. Gideon happens to be around, another good athlete. Gideon, where are you? Yes, there is Gideon Adi. Now, female category, we have Irene Coleman, Josephine Acedo, and Selena Akins. Yabua, Charles Yabua, and then Paul Caleb Mills. These are the nominees for the Male Football of the Year Award. Now, in the female category, we have Esther Achia. Esther, are you around? Selena Akins and Rita Kujo, the nominees for the female category football of the year. Tennis, nominees for Tennis Player of the Year Award. We have Edmond Nisowa, Edmond, Stephen Tebia, and Samuel Enim, another nice player, Samuel Envison, Fifi, and Blake. They are handling the soccer team and they have been nominated for this category. I'm going to honor him. That's why we are not going to vote at all. This meritorious award, he deserves it. So can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> and the vice chancellor, vice chancellor also, we have to honor him as well. And ladies and gentlemen, we are from Western Region, and this team happens to be the first ladies team to qualify uh, for the international area and that's the Azakes Ladies Football Club. So we are going to honor them as well because it happens to be in the region. So we have to recognize their achievement in soccer. The sports achievers of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce Media Mass Sporting Club 
as the sports achievers of the year. So they are currently the uh, leaders, and we have to, they are playing the Champions League, we have to honor them with the Amar Sporting Club from Takwa. In education and valor, we have Ebenezer Akonomensa, Professor Hussan Ankara, Alaji Mohammed Alex Dapo, and Joseph Ofori Aqua, individuals recognized for exemplary work. Corporate award. And then we have the Rainbow Hotel. They have been in touch with the institution since we started the sport activities. Bentway Ghana, they also came on board and then assisted us. Indomie Ghana Limited, they have been assisting the institution. Farmer Ghana, so we are going to consider that as well as the corporate award. When it comes to the honor awards, uh, this nice gentleman, Kuntu, Joy Kuntu Blaster, happens to be the first post presenter in the Western region or in national. Okay, he happens to be, and he has been doing well. West Good and Sky Media Group.